Islam, Islam, Islam. Peace and love, families. I'm um, coming to y'all today. Just make a quick video. I guess uh, a few days ago I made a post um, after having a few words with Tahaka Boke Bay on uh, not paying taxes. When I had uh, purchased my automobile back in 2015, I had went to the dealership and basically uh, went there with my nationality card, my travel card, and my proclamation papers. And I made it clear that I am a Moorish American national. Uh, I have a non-obligatory tax status and that I would not be paying any taxes if I'm going to be purchasing the automobile. Uh, included, I did not have a state, state license. I left the dealership without the state license. Um, no registration, any of that stuff, because I used my travel card for my travels, and I explained to them that's exactly what I use when I'm traveling on the road. I don't use anything else, and I don't need a state identification or a driver's license for me to travel upon the land. Now, Tahaka, Tahaka, uh, is basically making comments and stuff saying that, you know, I'm using fake documentation, approval point, or um, that I basically can't do what I've done, and he wanted to see proof. So, you know, after two years, only people that's been around me have got to see my uh, receipt or my paperwork from when I purchased the automobile. So I put that up there for everybody to see. And so for everybody that have seen the post, uh, basically, you see some other documents on there, like tax exemption or something like that, uh, some type of affidavit. But that affidavit was not what I used. I just used that to cover up the important information uh, on my receipt. I just so happened to uh, have those papers, those papers right there. But um, at the end of the day, you know, uh, represent Grace Seal, represent RV Bay Publications, Rosemary Valerie Bay, Susanna Edel, you know, Todd Street Bay, Brother Abdullah Mosley Bay, um, um, Mizraim, Brother Mizraim L. Uh, you know, you got these Moors that's basically acting like what we're doing is a joke or that is some type of um, fraud or something that we can't do as Moors. When all I've been doing all along was standing on nationality, I don't care if I've uh, been kidnapped by a policy enforcer or whatnot, I handle my, my business afterwards. Um, but like I tell people all the time, you know, as far as me traveling out here on the road, <clears throat> there's a particular video I have on my YouTube and I don't have the rest of the video because I had an old phone and that phone I no longer have. And the reason why I even have that last part of that video is because I posted it to my Instagram when the incident first happened. And Instagram at that time would only allow you to put a recording for so long. But anyway. Still waiting. I don't know what's taking so long, but it's taking a little while. So my radio got to get to work. See my man, give me the ticket, and I'll handle it in court. Mr. Bay. Yes. What time you gotta be at work? Uh, I'm already late. All right. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. Be careful. All right. Take care. Slow down. I will. Why you start? I was trying to get there. <laughs> trying to get to work. Safe, dude. I will. Okay. All right. Take care. It's made me late for work, but it was successful. Um. I enforce my unalienable rights to travel. Me being a national, not a U.S. citizen, uh, let them know that I am more American. I am a national citizen. I'm indigenous to the land. But uh, they went on ahead and let me go. So I'm happy about that. I'm going to work. Check it out. More power. Hey, uh, you can see clearly in the video that the officer addresses me as Mr. Bay. I didn't get any ticket, just a verbal warning telling me how to travel. Now, prior to him 
you know, well, when I first ran into him, when he first came to the to my window, I put my nationality card and my travel card to the window and rolled my window down a bit. And then um, I told him to check the van, which is located on my window in front of my car, um, in front of the automobile. So, um, you know, I let him know that I wanted to see his uh, hazardous bond number. And he would start laughing and saying, well, let me see your bond number. I'm like, no, let me see your bond number. So we went back and forth like that, laughing and whatnot. And uh, he just went to his automobile and did what he do. Now, in the meantime, a female officer came up and I told her the exact same thing. And already let the officer that, that stopped me know what's going on and that I do not participate or that I'm not in commerce and that I don't consent to fraud. Because what they're doing, um, impeding people from traveling is fraud. We have the right to travel. So um, I told him I don't consent to the fraud. I don't consent to to um, having any of those instruments because those instruments does not re represent a natural person. It represents a corporation. Um, so another officer came, a European officer was on the other side, on the right side of my passenger side window and he just stood there just looking at me you know looking in the automobile when not he didn't really say much now a brother came up and he started trying to open my window i mean open my door put his hand in my window telling me to open my door asking me why i don't have all the documentations all i need to do is be like everybody else and 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 have the documentation or have the license and all that stuff and he basically tried to be cool with me about it like hey you know maybe you should uh you know just just do it, bro. I mean, what's the problem with, with, with having these things or whatnot or whatever, whatever. So he made an issue more than anyone, more than a European son, more than, you know, he was just basically a brother that felt like he can tell another brother what to do because he was a brother, I guess. <laughs> or maybe they tried him to see what was what the results were going to be or if I was going to change up how I felt about the situation. But anyway, um, that 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 was a, a situation that you know was a good experience uh, i had experiences that weren't so smooth but at the end of the day i do know from my experience that i do have my rights to travel and from studying you know so at the end of the day when you got these moors that's sitting here telling you that they're so moorish and so about noble draw lee you know about the prophet noble draw lee you know and really they're not they're not really doing any of their works Tahaka, Taharka, Aboke Bay basically speaks all this stuff, but he has no books. He he speaks about Taj Tariq Bay. You know, he speaks about Grand C. Cool Joel, you know, but these men have written books. They have documented facts with references for you to go look for yourself and observe and you can go do your own studies from there. Now, this man has his Moorish World TV or Morisco World TV, as, as some of us say, and he never teaches anything. He never talks about anything that's that's well, uh, well worth, well worth, um, you knowing. you know, he basically has a show is just full entertainment. It's always about some type of drama or some type of issue with a person. This man is the man that, you know. Originally was siding with polite. Now he's like, oh, I don't deal with polite. I, I put that on public. I don't deal with polite, you know, and then the man, Lord Abba. Lord Abba is the first more I ever came across when I when I started my journey, you know, and I, I told Lord Abba what my, what my free appellation was going to be. You know, and he sent me some stuff, you know, basically asking for my social security number, all my children's social security number, all my family or whatnot. And I didn't feel right about the application. I didn't feel right about having to do all this stuff to be a national. Now, uh, giving up private information. So um, these 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 Moors uh, we call Lord Abba uh, Deshaun Wrong Way L, you know. But uh, these Moors, you know, they 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 pick sides, and then when one of them get exposed or or the heat get too hot on one of them, they want to try to distance themselves. When originally, you know, they was all for them. You know, don't switch up when you start seeing truth come out. I mean. We stay on truth. You know, RV Bay Publications, an online university for you, you get a lot of information and, and you know that's not where it stops, but that's where it begins. You know, you 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 can get pretty much the whole mindset that you basically need uh being a national, you know, be, having a free mindset of 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 
who you are, you know, and, and attaching yourself back to your ancestry, you know, your heritage and everything. So uh, I don't respect Moors that just bash other Moors and, and bashing the Moors that's actually making progress, that's actually doing work. I don't I don't appreciate none of that. There's really nothing that you can uh, say to me because I really go study and I really uh, uh, activate what I'm doing. You know, I go out there and I, and I see what's going to happen based upon my studies and what I'm doing. And I have no issues with RV Bay Publications or what I have learned from there or anything that I have received from RV Bay Publications. Uh, I'm just tired of all the bashing. Uh, you got to understand that Rosemary Valerie Bay is a mother, you know. Um, she has children. I mean, you, you just can't bash a person because they're doing what's right, you know, and trying to uplift fallen humanity as we are supposed to do as Moors, you know. Uh, Profit is a universal profit. You know what I'm saying? We're just the ones that's in immediate in the immediate need, you know, because of the 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 the, the situation or or the the position that we've been put in, uh, because we basically don't understand that the European has just basically took your seat, took your position, and you basically don't know that that's your position and you're not uh acted acting on it. So therefore you're being ruled. Uh, not to say that this isn't your 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 science or your your um, um, form of government, you know. Uh, everything the European basically knows, you know, it comes from us. And Kujoel, uh, Grand Kujoel posted a video, a uh, common sense quickie video, you know, and he has this uh, European male and European female, and the male picks up the flag and basically says uh, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God. And the lady says to him basically that um, that that last part was added. And he was like, what part? She was like, under God. So he was like, okay, so what were we under before that? And she said, I don't know. You know, uh, maybe we should ask the Moors. And then the dude go, oh, and he starts to fall back. So, you know, they put the facts out all the time you know it's right in your face you know we're the only people that so-called black negro colored african-american you know what i'm saying we're the only people that really sit here and debate facts that's what stupid people do that's that's a that's that's stupid stupidity so it's too much facts in your face just like i told tahaka aboke bay you know, I got too many facts, bro. My documentation is straight. Everything I'm doing is straight. You know, you can keep on sitting here, uh, you know, making the jokes, making the little, um, you know, comments that, that really are irrelevant. You know, you're making irrelevant comments. You know, you're talking about stuff that has no concrete fact you know what i'm saying it's no it's no evidence on, upon which you're stating all you say is oh you know follow the prophet follow prophet noble drawly which we do as moors we honor prophet noble drawly to the utmost you know what i mean so at the end of the day you know to to get at us as if we're not you know because we're with gray seal you know or 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 because we we're getting some knowledge from rv bay publications that we're not following our profit now and a lot of these moors switching sides and came from rv bay publications or getting their information from that site and all of a sudden they're like oh screw rv bay uh they're not helping us we can't contact them we can't do this we can't do that well you can contact them they have email they have a a a a, 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 a class that's held live, you know, that you can contact. Morris Heritage and History School, you know, every week, you know what I mean? So it's not like anybody's running from you guys or ducking you guys. You guys keep saying, oh, Great Seal is going to fall or, or these Moors are part of Great Seal are going to get in trouble with Tosh Reek Bay and all these guys are going to get arrested and yada, yada, yada. Mind you, this was years ago that I'm hearing these Moors say these things. Or at this certain time that you're not going to see these guys anymore. Well, the fact is, truth shall remain. And tr truth will remain. You know? So at the end of the day, you know, for all you haters, all you guys that's uh, pretty much disrespecting and bashing RV Bay publications when they're actually doing their work, the, the people that's a part of it are actually doing their work and uplifting falling humanity and helping us as people you know, uh, live our lives accordingly to what the prophet has set up for us, 
You know, you, you can't be mad at that. You can't be mad that they're reaching more people than you. And, and it's online. I mean, can't no one person be everywhere at one time uh, physically, you know, to help everyone, you know, and, and you got to understand that other people have their own lives, too. At least these people aren't charging you. At least they can hold a class, conduct a class. You know, they ask for donation and donation is not not a problem because we all needed to keep things going. But at the same time, it's not like it's a mandatory thing or, oh, if you don't do this, then you can't speak to me. You know, it's it's. It's a game with some of these moors. You know, a lot of these moors want to sell you stuff that they didn't gather from all different types of sources or gather from someone, you know, opposed to just giving it to their people to observe and make decisions on their own. You know, that's what I'm about. You know, so whatever information I do come across and, you know, I see a, a, a moor is, is, is really true about, you know, what they're trying to do as a moor, then I, I'm, I don't have any problem releasing any of my information to anyone. You know, so at the end of the day, um, you know, I have love for, uh, uh, Rosemary Valerie Bay, Sister Anna Edel, you know, uh, Taj, Grand Sheik Taj Tariq Bay, you know, Grand Sheik Kujoel, you know, these brothers and sisters are doing things that, that are changing lives, you know, it changed my life, you know, and I'm, I'm blessed and I'm happy that, you know, at some point in time of my, my, my uh presence here on earth that i was able to come into this information you know i was able to reconnect you know so that's what it's about you know reconnecting knowing who you are knowing where you come from you know all that stuff is is first and foremost before you go do anything else you know so you know knowing who you are as a more is 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 key uh it's done a lot for me and, and I thank RV Bay Publications uh, for presenting the information and steady presenting the information uh, to us more. So uh, with that, you know, I just just want to end this with just basically just be aware of these moors, you know, like Taharka, Aboki Bay, you know, that wears the fez, that speaks no Lee's name, you know, that acts like he's just a super moor. All he wants is fame and attention is what I can see. You know, I don't see any sincerity in what he's doing, you know. So you just have to be aware of these moors. Just know that for the active moors out here, we're active and we're doing what it takes, you know, to to, to move his moors. So as I'm as I'm as I'm doing things, uh I'm active. You know, there's no persuading me. There's no saying, oh, I have to do this or I have to do that when I went to go do the studying. So, Islam, Islam, Islam. Peace and love, Moors. Uh, peace and love to all the Moors worldwide. Uh, love all you Moors, you know, the, the haters and the ones that's about the business, you know, about, about being active and, and, and handling our affairs, you know, as men, men and women. So uh, with that, you know, I close this and I say peace and love, love, truth, peace, freedom and justice. Islam.